Hey guys, Ruben here, and this is day two of my uh, series. Check out my channel if you want to see uh, day one's video. I'll put a link in the description for that or an annotation on the screen right now. Today we're taking a look at how to change your build prop. Basically, the build prop is a piece of um, code in the system that tells the Android market and apps what kind of device you have. Now, have you ever come across an app where you've downloaded it, say a game loft are notorious for this? And uh, it says this device is not, this game, sorry, or app is not compatible with your device. I get that all the time with my Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0. Why? Because it's, you know, it's not a popular device, and a lot of companies don't bother making the app uh, universal and only work on a couple of devices, and this is not included in one of them. So basically, um, and also it fixes. Sorry, if you ever come across an app on the Android market and it says this in the black banner up here, this device, this app is not compatible with this device. You can change that. And um, I've already done it, but I'm going to show you just how to do it today. So first off, you need to download a File Explorer app. Here I have an app called ES File Explorer, which I would recommend to anyone. Just click on that here, and I use this for the example today. We're going to go into settings first. And by the way, you need root for this um, this guide or hack or mod or whatever you want to call it. Um, you do need root for it. So we want to tick root explorer. And you're going to press yes, and it's going to press allow, and you're going to click allow, and then mount file system. So once you've done that, we're going to go back, and we're going to click on favorites here. And then we're going to click on the phone. This will bring us to the root of the phone. As you can see, these are all the fo folders. Sorry, in the phone. Um, itself so we're going to then go into system which is just at the bottom and then as you can see here we have files called build.prop now if you haven't done this before you're going to have the one file you're not going to have this build.prop.back file that's just the backup but just take it in cons into consideration that this is the prop file here and you're going to press open as text now I know this looks complicated but don't worry as you can see you just scroll down a bit and you're going to find the product model name device and board of your device mine as it was is the YPG70 I would recommend changing um, your build prop to a device that's widely acceptable like the GT i9 100 which is a Galaxy S2 which I also have um, in the background actually but yes because that device is very popular you're going to just want to simply delete um, this this, this and this, the G70s and the YP or whatever model device you have and you're going to want to change that to GTI9100 um, and you're going to also want to make sure the brand name is Samsung and the manufacturer down here is Samsung if, um, if you're using that device if you're not going to put the Galaxy S2 as your um, fake device if you like, then just put HTC if you're using, I don't know, something like a sensation or something. Um, but basically, what I, I'm just going to say no. You're going to want to change that then to, as you can see here, I have changed it to GTI9100 four times and added Samsung twice. Now, what this does is it means that apps can um, verify your device as a Galaxy S2, even though it isn't. Um, bargain. <laughs> um, once you've done that you're going to reboot your phone. Um, you can do that obviously if you have a custom one you just press reboot otherwise just power off and power back on and then you'll be able to go into the Play Store or the Google Play Store or whatever you call it and, um, and search for any game and you shouldn't get the problem of it not being compatible with your device. Um, as you can see this was incompatible before is now compatible I can now buy it um, so yeah thanks for watching guys that's how to change your build prop on any Android device I used it on the Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 today but you can use it on any device thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe peace out